Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're going to look at another application of software defined video uh, using Dragon Focal OS or Dragon OS Focal. Amazing distribution comes with pre compiled tool. I've been mentioning this a lot because uh, I'm getting a big fan of this distribution. Uh, I have my HackRF which is connected. Uh, we're going to try to hunt for LTE cells. We're going to look for them. We're going to try to find them and then we're going to try to track them. Uh, so it's quite easy. Uh, so for that, uh, you need any art uh, software-defined video platform, like for example, HackRF, BladeRF, or you can also use your uh, RTL SDR dongle. The reason I don't, I'm not using my RTL SDR, SDR dongle. There's no specific reason because this this connector got a little bit flimsier, which is actually converting that MCX to SMA. So the antenna quite moves, and I don't like that. Um, so for that, we're going to use an application called Cell Search. Uh, so Cell Search is actually just simply type in Cell Search underscore Hack. So we're going to use Hack RF to do perform a Cell Search, and we're going to look. Let's look at some of the parameters that you need to set for that. So just simply type tag H H, and then we're going to use. Uh, we're going to use. So we're going to decide what frequency. So we're going to use a frequency what that has has some starting frequency and some ending frequency. So we're going to use tag S and tag E, and then we're going to use tag G to 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 set the gain of my hack RF. The default, if you don't write it, is actually 40. Uh, if you're using RTL SDR dongle, then you have to write the ppm uh, also, uh, which is parts per million. Uh, so so that you need to write it, but we're not going to do that. Uh, so for that, let's just simply write in cell search underscore hack RF. So we have a starting frequency. I'm going to use 1840 megahertz. And I'm going to use ending frequency to be 1845 megahertz. And then I'm going to set again, let's say 50. All right, so let's try to understand these parameters. Cell search underscore hack RF. This is a starting frequency, and this is tag E is an ending frequency. Dot uh, tag G. I'm um, setting up a gain of about 50 dB uh, as a receiving. So these are the frequencies which are downlink frequency for 4G. So whichever country that you're living in, you can look for that LTE frequency that you want. So in our in the region that I'm in. Uh, that's the frequency range for a particular carrier. So, so when you're scanning using cell search, you're actually scanning not the entire band. You can do that, but it will take a very long amount of time. But um, because it will check for every single uh, uh, value, uh, you will see that in a little bit. So it will check for every single value, and 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 then then it's gonna give you that information. So if you choose a very long, a large band, it will take a lot of time to actually search for that. So. Uh, I've already searched for that. What is the frequency allocated in my region? You can also Google it for your region as well. But these are the parameters you, you need. Just simply hit enter. Now, it's what it's going to do now is going to try to look for that E node B. It's going to try to look for that for for cell uh, by by incrementing the frequency at a value of 0.1. So it's going to scan 1840.1, 1840.2, and 1840.3, and it's going to search for that frequency, and we'll see that if we'll find a hit for that or not. So, so this is going to be a lengthier process. Um, uh, so earlier, I have actually worked on this already, and I already know uh, where is that uh, E node B is located at. So I'm just going to simply stop this, just to show you, and I'm going to type in. I'm going to go from 1841. Sorry, 1841, and I want to go all the way up to 1843. I believe, yeah, 1843. And I'm going to hit enter. So, because this was already using it, I'm just going to simply unplug my hack RF and I'm going to plug it in because it says resource is busy. Basically, it means just to replug that again. Um, and I'm going to run this. So, 1841 all the way up to 1843. So, I'm going to start looking for that. Uh, uh, e node B, the LT cell. So it's going to actually check all the frequencies. So give it like a few minutes, uh, at least like one or two minutes to look for it. And once it find or find that uh, particular frequency, uh, we're going to look at a couple of things and we're going to run an LT tracker as well to try to look for signal to noise ratios and things like that. 
So normally I have found a cell that is operating somewhere around 1842.6 megahertz. So, so let's just see, or 1842.5 megahertz. This is where I have found um, E node B or LTE cell. So let's just quickly wait for it to finish. All right, uh, as I can clearly see now, that it has detected a f detected falling cells. So we have a cell ID uh, that is given as 469. That has a frequency uh, center frequency or your carrier frequency to be around 1842.4. And then you have like receive power that is negative 19 point uh, negative 9.14 dB. And it's using a duplex mode which is called TDD slash FDD. Frequency division duplexing, time division duplexing, LTE uses both of them, and things like that. So once I know this, I have found out the frequency of this, I can start doing LTE tracking. For that, you need to just simply type L, LTE. I believe this is what you need to write. LTE tracker underscore hack RF. Once you know, so I'm using LTE tracker with hack RF, and then you can type in frequency. I know the frequency is 1842.4 mega e to the six, and let's just hit enter. Let's see. So it says, yes, it has found a device. Uh, it has found that uh, LTE cell, and it's gonna pop in another window. So this is what you would see that you have frequency division duplexing uh, that has a power P0. It will tell you the health of that uh, uh, LTE, uh, LTE cell that is working at around 1842.40 megahertz and things like that. And so if you had like, if you can also type in the frequency as well, so you can see the cell ID, what type of power is there, what type of an SNR is there, what is the health of that particular cell is. And, and this is how you're actually going to look for the cell. You're going to try to look, track them uh, using your hack RF and, 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 and so on. So if you have any questions on this, uh, leave it in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.